Hello YouTube, uh, this is my first video which I've actually spoke on so I thought I'd just do one about my specialised delay sport which I've had for just over a year now and I thought I'd go through just a couple of the changes that I've made to it um, just to make it more comfortable and a bit better for winter riding which is the reason I bought it, I got it cheap on eBay uh, to save my good bike from all the salt and rubbish that the weather causes. So this is the one that I used to ride to work and in the wet weather. And I thought I'd just uh, go through what I've done on it. So it's a standard bike with the full Sora group set. I haven't changed any of the group set. It's still holding up nicely. Uh, the only issue I did have last winter, I didn't have mud guards on it was the rear brake caliber went a bit stiff but I'll give it a little clean and lube and it's pretty good it's still not feeling as good as the front one but it's all right um I changed the specialized Reva saddle for the Sally Italia C2 it's got a bit of crash damage there that was done on the mountain bike but it's a really comfy saddle I recommend that it's a bit narrower than the specialized one uh, the main thing that I changed on the bike was the wheels because the wheels have come with it were terrible. I got these Campag Sorocos, they were pretty cheap at Wiggle at the time. A lot of people won't put Campags on a bike with Shimano gears but I'm not too bothered. Uh, they spin really nice, the hub's got a nice sound to it. Uh, then the tyres, uh, I'm sick of getting punctures so I highly recommend these, they're the, if you can see there. I've got the Lifeline Prime Armour tyres from Wiggle. They're about 12 quid a shot and they're really good, really grippy. Pretty st stuff wearing, I've never had a puncture yet so that's all good. And then for this winter, because I was sick of cleaning the bike, I, I got the Crud Road Racer Mark 3s. They fit on nicely. You just leave these adhesive pads on here. You can see they're stuck on there. It's not too good coverage if you're into riding with groups because it doesn't come that far down but I ride alone so that's not a problem. And a nice shroud here that protects the front neck. Uh, the front one gives good clearance and good coverage should I say. Uh, no issues running 25mm tyres. And then uh, the latest edition I've I've always ridden flat pedals, never fancied being clipped in, couldn't get away with them. I thought I'd try these Crank Brothers Candy, because they're more or less a double sided, four sided entry, because it's the egg beater design, but with the platform it's two sided really, but I'm managing them quite nicely. No clipless moments yet, so touch wood. So that's it. There's my Specialise the less sport. It's a, it's a good bag. Like I say, I got it for less than £400 off eBay. A guy had bought it and just, he'd never ridden it. He was just sat in his garage. So, I've done over 2,000 miles on it now and I'm very happy with it. That's it.